primary focus in our laboratory is childhood obesity, and we're very much interested in both the causes and the consequences of obesity, things like type 2 diabetes risk, long-term cardiovascular risk, and cancer risk. Most researchers in our area focus primarily on physical activity, exercise, and nutrition, but we also try to use a more holistic approach by focusing on the factors that shape these behaviors. So how does the physical, social, cultural environment all shape opportunities for children to be active or not, um, to eat a healthy, nutritious diet or not, um, and how can we change uh, the children's views about physical activity and nutrition and also give them additional resources to help them be more physically active and eat healthy, nutritious diets. Some of the challenges that our research is attempting to address and understand is understanding what are some of the factors in children's environment that increase their risk for disease. So one of the projects that we have is funded by, by the American Diabetes Association that is specifically looking at stressors in children's lives. So how does household income, how does um, resources in their environment or stressors in their environment impact not only their health behavior, so physical activity and nutrition, but also their stress levels in their body, um, their risk for type 2 diabetes, how they accumulate fat throughout the body, where do they accumulate that fat, and does that differ by race and ethnicity? And if there are different stressors that they're exposed to, can we target those stressors in terms of how the children respond? And also, can we eliminate those stressors by different po health policies that we can implement either at the community level or the school level? Another one of our studies that we're focusing on is how do we change the built or the physical environment that kids um, interact in on a, on a daily basis? So we know that kids spend the majority of their waking hours in a school environment. So how can we engineer physical activity into the classroom at a high enough intensity and a long enough duration to where we can um, improve weight status in children. Um, it's a tricky subject because you don't necessarily want the kids to lose weight because they are still growing and developing, but we want to make sure that they are getting enough physical activity um, that they can maintain a healthy weight or grow into that weight as they progress through their school years. There's a lot of wonderful things regarding IHPI. Partnering with other investigators here at IHPI has given me a wonderful opportunity and what and looking at either partnering with them on research projects or understanding the process by which you take research from the lab all the way out to the community. Being here at Michigan with the collaborative nature of the university that IHPI just builds on resources that are already available and provides a structure to this collaboration that I haven't seen at any other university. I'm very hopeful about the health of this country and um, in the next 50 years. I think that there's been a lot of changes in our health care delivery over the last five to 10 years, um, given the changes in the Affordable Care Act. And we are starting to see the needle move a bit on childhood obesity. So we have a long way to go, um, but I think I am hopeful about where we are, um, what the numbers are saying. I think for myself, the combination of the research results that we get that the policies that we'll be able to develop and implement as a collaborative team and the re next generation of researchers that are coming up, that I'm very hopeful about the health and well-being of the United States.